Am I the a-hole for not accepting my sister's relationship with my ex despite her having cancer as a teenager? Am I the a-hole for telling my stepdad and mom that they shouldn't be surprised at what my little brother said to them when they pulled a prank on him? Am I the a-hole for not accepting my sister's relationship with my ex despite her having cancer as a teenager? My 25 female father married my stepsister's 23 female mother when I was 4 and she was 3. We've lived together most of our lives and are a family. She and I were extremely close. She developed cancer when she was 14 and was sick about 2 years. She's since made a full recovery. During that time, my parents became understandably overprotective. They also asked a lot of me. I quit my extracurricular so I could get a job. The money went towards her medical bills, and so I could drive her to appointments. I didn't go to dances and any fun activities I did needed to include her. I did almost all of this willingly, the exception being having to quit my high school volleyball team. I did throw a bit of a tantrum about that but was swiftly punished, and I think having one emotional breakdown was pretty chill given the circumstances. Anyhow, I go to college and meet my ex. We'll call him Ben, when I'm a junior. We fall in love, blah blah blah. He and I move in together when we graduate, so we've been living together for about three years. We were serious until July when I walked into my bedroom and saw him fucking my sister. I broke it off, tears were shed, he moved out, etc. My sister apologized at first but then backed off. I thought she was giving me space but last week she called and asked if we could meet up. She told me that she and Ben were in love and were just telling me as a courtesy before they started posting photos online. Distraught, I left her in the restaurant by herself and did not pay my portion of the bill. She later Venmoed me asking for the money. She told my parents who then called me to their house, telling me how disappointed in me they are for not supporting my sister's relationship with Ben. They brought up the fact that because she had cancer as a teenager, she never learned proper social etiquette and has a hard time meeting people. I don't buy this, in part because I've seen her socialize just fine and since we spent a good chunk of the time she was sick together, that would also mean that I should have bad social skills as well, by that logic. They then told me that if I don't accept my sister and Ben's relationship, they may have to go no contact with me. I reminded them that I'm also their daughter and they should understand my point of view, but they are adamant that this is about me being jealous of her. For the record, I'm not jealous of her. I'm not upset that Ben picked her over me. I'm sad about the end of the relationship and do feel betrayed, but Lord knows that I don't want to be with a cheater. What I'm upset about is the fact that my sister chose Ben over me, that she slept with Ben knowing he and I were in a long-term committed relationship, and continues to be with him knowing how much it hurts me. Now no one in my immediate family is talking to me and I'm getting messages from aunts and uncles and cousins telling me that I'm an a-hole and a selfish bitch. NTA I would do a mass email of everyone in your family and spell out in detail everything your sister and Ben did to you. Then point out, once a cheat always cheat and you wonder how long it will be until Ben cheats on your sister. End the email with expressing disappointment in you dad for his total failure to you as your dad and that what your dad, his wife and her daughter have taught you is that you have no family. Effective immediately, you are cutting them out of your life. And then block all of them everywhere and go live your best life. Edit to add, never ever refer to her as your sister. She is nothing more than your dad's wife's daughter who has been raised with no moral values. Info needed. Has been cheated in the past. Did you make a scene about your sister's antics? Why would your family go the nuclear route when you're less than three months out of a three-year relationship? Assuming the answer is no to those, then no, you're not the asshole added. NTA your family's response to your experience isn't okay. You should be allowed to have negative feelings about this not forced to support something that is has actively hurt you. Edit 2. 
to the 30 plus people who downvoted after my first edit, why? I asked questions because I thought it was bizarre that a family would threaten to go no contact simply because their child wasn't supportive of the people who cheated on her. None of these questions were to blame op just tried to get a better feel on what felt like missing information. Edit 3. Just saw OP's update, which came after this initial edit was posted. Good GD that's so not okay and frustratingly makes sense why they're shoving this onto her. OP deserves better. NTA. How are you the selfish one? Your sister slept with your boyfriend behind your back, and your family is mad at you for not accepting it, and your parents are going as far as to disown you if you don't accept it. Your parents have failed you, I know your sister getting cancer was a terrible thing, but it is being weaponized as an excuse for your sister to just treat you like crap. You sister, parents, ex-boyfriend, and family who is shaming you can go screw themselves. I would go North Carolina with all of them, and I would suggest you also get therapy to help you with this toxic situation. Your parent have enabled your sister to treat you like crap your whole life and used her having cancer as an excuse not to parent her. Don't worry karma is going to bite them all in the behind and I bet your parents are going to be begging for your help when they are older because your sister is dependent on them and they don't know what to do. Dear parents, it has come to my attention that I have spent my entire youth prioritizing stepsister because she was sick. I did so willingly, despite the fact that it was incredibly unfair of me to have to take on the responsibilities of an adult by helping pay my sister's medical bills. I'll never get volleyball, time with friends or dances back. All these years I have never complained because that's what family should do, but as it turns out you don't consider me part of the family. Stepsister has betrayed me for months. You threatened to go no contact with me if I did not accept this betrayal with a smile on my face, but I cannot do that. This has made me realize that you do not love me and will never consider me stepsister's equal. Moving forward I will be going no contact with you. I am not willing to let you be part of my life anymore. Please know that when I get married and have children of my own that you will not be involved in their lives. You will not be invited to my wedding. When people ask why I will tell them it is for the reasons listed above. Goodbye forever, OP. I usually don't say anything on these kind of posts because a, it's a clear NTA, and b, I'm sure what I'm going to say has already been said a thousand times. But I know this sub is quick to say go no contact. Cut them out of your life. As if it's that easy, but in this case, I would recommend you give it serious thought. This is not the worst thing they are going to ask of you. If you concede on this, where is the line? They, and I say they and not only her, because by god, your parents suck, are going to keep pushing and belittling you. Let's be clear, you are under no obligation whatsoever to forgive, forget or even be civil about this. It's ridiculous they are even asking. Right now the only thing you need to do is think about yourself and your mental health. And that's not selfishness, it's survival. What your sister did is the most selfish and disgusting thing, you need to protect yourself against it. My petty side is clamoring for you to post this whole mess on social media and let the karma gods deal with this, but I don't think that's gonna help you. What I think you should do is write down your feelings and your thoughts on this mess, send them to your sister and parents if you wish, maybe even send it to the whole family, so they all know your perspective on this, go low or no contact with them, and seek a therapist immediately. We all need one at the best of times. You most certainly need one now. Take care of yourself, you're what's most important right now. And honestly, fk those assholes. After your edit, what you should do is take a long step back from your family. If, and only if, you think it will help you can send a message to everyone who has been harassing you, basically explaining your feelings like you did in this post. That you are upset you were not only betrayed by your ex who you were in a long-term supposedly committed relationship with, but that you were also betrayed by your sister who didn't just make a one-time mistake, which would still hurt, but has repeatedly been seeing your ex behind your back for at least four months, likely much longer. You are also disappointed that your family knew of your ex and sister's affair and didn't have enough respect for you to say anything to you. You then put all of their numbers on silence, any messages redirected to a folder, the phone doesn't ring if they call, but leaves a notification that they did call, if your phone has these functions etc, you then get to choose when to talk. Sounds like your cousin has your back at least, maybe they can be the one to contact you in case of an actual emergency. I also need to ask, your sister is expecting, even if she wasn't caught what did they think would happen? That you would be okay with it because whoops too late. Nah man, huge betrayal from all sides. NTA. Your sister having cancer when she was younger doesn't give her a blank check to do any horrible thing that she desires. If she committed murder would your parents excuse it because she had cancer as teenager, because a court of law wouldn't. Your sister is a selfish person. Your parents are horrible parents. There is no way you should have ever been responsible for helping to pay your sister's medical bills. Nor should you had to have sacrificed your childhood. They are their parents. 
they are the ones responsible for making sure that both of their children are taken care of and cared for. I know you love your family, but they are toxic to you. You need to cut them out of your life for now at least and go get some therapy to help you deal with the unbelievable favoritism that is going on in your family. If you don't your life will always be about sacrificing your wants and needs for your sister. NTA I wish I knew you in real life so we could be friends. F your family. F your stepsister. Girl move on from them. I'm sorry to say that they do not care about you and have proven that by turning the whole family against you after your stepsister betrayed you this bad. You literally found her in your bed, in your house, and then she had the audacity to ask you for the money. And your parents took her side. Why are you even sad? You think they care about your sadness? You should be angry. I literally would no longer refer to them as my family ever again. I'd walk past them like they were dead if I saw them out anywhere. You need to be angry. The anger should fuel you to get away from them and make your life better without them. You don't deserve this, but you need to stay strong and stop letting them get to you. NTA, but I'm honestly not surprised by this at all. You sister and your parents have been using her illness as an excuse to walk all over you since you were a teenager. It was not your responsibility to pay for your sister's medical bills. It was not your responsibility to drive her back and forth to appointments. It was not your responsibility to sacrifice every joy in your life to make your family more comfortable. You were a child and they forced you to take on more than any child should ever have to. Your parents failed you, but they also failed your sister. They enabled this behavior and created a monster. They set the expectation that you would drop everything to cater to your sister and they're continuing to enforce that expectation by demanding that you accept her betrayal. Fuck that and fuck them. You've done more than enough for them and you don't have to accept jack shit. Honestly, I think no contact would be the best thing for you at this point. You don't deserve to have your sister's illness weaponized against you and I guarantee that they'll be calling you in the near future to tell you that Ben cheated on her too and expecting you to console her. The best thing to do is jump ship now and save yourself the heartache. Block them on social media and do whatever it is you need to do in order to heal from this. Best of luck to you, oh. Am I the a-hole for telling my stepdad and mom that they shouldn't be surprised at what my little brother said to them when they pulled a prank on him? I, 20 female, am an older sister to my little biological brother, 17 male, who finished high school last year. My little brother and I are really close. He says I'm the best friend he has and he loves me more than anyone. Of course, this is not true. He has many friends of his own. My brother has been asking our stepdad, mother, if he could get a new car for his grad party since last year. And he said he'd pay 50 to 75% with his own hard-earned money while they pay the rest. They said no. I have a car but I had been working for one. They helped me pay off for it, so my brother's arguments with our parents got heated after a while. One time I told my brother that I'd help him pay off expenses for a good car once I got my own. He hugged me and said I didn't need to worry about that, he owed me way more than I owed him. But he continued to press our parents all of last year until they gave in and said yes like they did for me. Note that our stepdad and my brother have a negative relationship for the most part. Our bio mother and stepdad got together soon after our bio dad and mom divorced when we were little. My brother thinks that stepdad and mother were seeing each other before our real parents divorced and to be honest, I think that might be true. Not certain though. Anyway, my stepfather, mother, and brother compromised and said they'd get him the car in 2021 so that people don't gawk at him at the graduation party. June this year, my brother and stepdad, mother, are still on about the car. Now the argument's getting loud and lasting hours until evening. My stepdad was getting into screaming matches with my brother over it but they reached the final compromise of the car being bought last week. The faded morning comes and my brother wakes up to our stepdad and mom guiding him outside to a car. But not his. Our mother's. Stepdad used his and my brother's money on a dumb prank, bought a completely different model of car, said it was for our mother. Our mom and stepdad just laughed and kissed each other. My brother didn't lose it. He didn't even look angry. He just looked dead in our stepdad's eyes and said, I'm not joking. Verbatim, you might think I'm fucking stupid. You might think whatever, but I'm just better than you, bro. You know that. I know that. And our mom is a fucking idiot for staying with a prick like you. But I'll make you wish you'd never fucking met us. 
I promise you. You might be laughing now, but you'll be crying later. He then walked off, not even looking back at them as they stared horrified. They asked me what was that about, and I, feeling terrible for my brother, said they had it coming and not to be surprised. So now they grounded both of us. I've had to explain the situation to my friends as I can't see them anymore, but I feel so bad for my baby brother and they back me up on this and ask me to comfort him as much as possible. But our parents are so mad and they can't see that my brother had his heart crushed. Am I the a-hole? NTA, is your father in the picture? If so, talk to him about what happened. I would send out a mass email to every member of your family and tell them what your stepdad did. He stole money that your brother worked hard to save and used it to buy your mother a car. Include a picture of the car with the caption that stepdad stole money from a 17-year-old to pay for this car. I would blast it on FB ad well. Consider setting up a GoFundMe account with a story to see if you can help your brother recoup some money to buy a car. Since you are of legal age, have your name on it to safeguard any donations. If your brother has any bank accounts, close them up and help him set up a new accounts in both your names to safeguard the money. I would go scorched earth on your stepdad and publicly humiliate him as much as possible. Both of you need to work on an exit strategy to get out of the house. Perhaps between the two of you you could get an apartment and your brother could file as an emancipated minor. Or you could file to become his guardian. Or perhaps other family will take you in. Edit to add you are 20 years old, they can't ground you. Something's not right here, in the original post the brother's 17 in the comments he's 18. Phrases like tell on my parents to the police are being used by a supposed 20-year-old. A 20-year-old that's supposedly been grounded and is questioning whether or not they can go live with a different parent when they don't have to live with a parent at all. Something's way off about this post. If it weren't for the age change of the brother I would say the poster is using English as a second language and has been gaslighted into believing a 20-year-old has to stay. But with the inconsistencies in the age of the sibling showing up in the comments, I am unfortunately going to have to sound the BS alarm on this post. You are 20 years old and an adult. Regardless of living in their house they cannot ground you. You are free to leave as grounding you could be classed as imprisoning as you are an adult. Your bio father doesn't have 40% custody of you after you turn either 16 or 18, depends on court order, you can move whenever you feel like it. Your brother can legally move out and live with your bio dad too you did 17 then 18 in comments, so I am unsure of his age. There is nothing South Dakota and mum can do to stop either of you. Does your bio dad know what they did? You should report their theft to the police. They are disgusting humans and they stole from your brother never mind how they're treating an adult at 20 years old. I am so angry for both of you however you have the advice now and know legally you are in the right, so it's up to you and your brother to sort this out and potentially stay with bio dad. If he doesn't already know I'd call him and explain and tell him you're both coming to stay with him. There are lawyers who will give you an hour of free advice, it'd suggest you report to the police, then call a lawyer to find out what your options are in the meantime. NTAOP this is really really serious. Do not let this go. Go to the police. This isn't family drama. You're not being a spoiled child. It's far far from a prank. Your brother was stolen from. And your mom allowed it to happen. Cars cost thousands so it was not a small amount of money either, and I promise the title will not be in your brother's name. Take action and convince your brother to take action as well. Your mom allowed you stepdad to steal money from the both of you for her own benefit, now who knows where the line is. The abuse will get worse because she will enable it. This isn't even about your brother's feelings. He's not just heartbroken, has a victim. Your parents are going to say he's just stomping his feet and crying cause he didn't get what he wanted. But, and I can't stress this enough, thousands of dollars were taken from him and he got nothing. That's. Theft. Call. The. Police.